Is the notebook the most powerful tool in a data person's arsenal? What makes them so beloved by analysts and engineers? How are they different than any old IDE? In other areas of software engineering, requirements are often at least somewhat fleshed out before development. This is not usually the case with data, where exploration and discovery are usually the first steps. Because of this, there needed to be tools that supported easy sharing, annotation, and step-by-step -step testing and results. An IDE, or Integrated Development Environment, is the traditional tool for development. Think of Visual Studio, RStudio, Eclipse, or Notepad Plus if you're one of the developers who likes to brag about how you just use Notepad. You write all the code, compile, and then run it. Notebooks, on the other hand, work in blocks of code. Each one can be executed and returns a result, which moves to the next block. This can be great when you're working with data, where you may need to see the data output of one step to determine what the next step might be. They also work great for collaboration, because someone can open the notebook and see step-by-step -step processes to get to the end result. Or a team could pass it between members and each contributes a block based on their domain knowledge. Newer notebooks even allow each block to be written in different languages, which opens the potential for teams to switch between ideal languages for a specific step, or collaboration between teams that may use different languages. Sometimes notebooks are used as an exploration and initial development step. Then code is moved to an IDE to be made production ready. But some modern tools, such as Databricks, are built on notebooks in such a way that they work as a productionalized code base. 